Uh, hi guys, uh, so I was wondering why sine of 90, 90 minus theta uh, is equal to cos of theta. Uh, let's try to figure it out. Uh, so suppose if I have a triangle and uh, I'm looking at uh, this uh, theta, right? And I have uh, length, I have base and uh, have base and I have hypotenuse, right? So I know that cos of uh, theta would be equal to uh, base divided by hypotenuse, right? Uh, so what is 90 minus theta? So 90 minus theta, so let's look here. So this is, I know that this is 90 degree. So this is equal to 90 minus theta. So if it, this is 90 minus theta, so what I need to do is let's tilt uh, this triangle so if I tilt this triangle this triangle will look more like this and uh, now we have length here hypotenuse still here and uh, base here right and now this is 90 minus theta this is theta and this is again 90 degree yeah, it seems uh, right. So now what if I define sine of 90 minus theta? So I know that for this uh, angle, sine of 90 minus theta should be equal to length, which is now base, divided by hypotenuse, which is h. Yes, these two are same. That means cos of theta is equal to sine of 90 minus theta oh that's cool i'll see you later guys